DNA does not prove evolution. DNA only shows how complex life is. You know, penicillin only has two chromosomes. Fruit flies have eight. I put together some critters and said, you know, I think I know how evolution really happened. Penicillin was first and it evolved to a fruit fly. And then it evolved to a tomato or a house fly. They're twins, you know, they both have 12 chromosomes. Very hard to tell the difference between those two. And then slowly over millions of years, they got some more chromosomes and became a P. And then it evolved to a B. Now here you can see the similarity. P, B, very similar. <laughs> and then very slowly it evolved to lettuce. And over millions of years, finally, triplets were born. Did you know the possum, the redwood tree, and the kidney bean all have 22 chromosomes? The average scientist cannot tell them apart. Let's see, possum, redwood tree, kidney bean. Yeah, let me see. Tree, got it. Possum, oh, we got it, folks. There we go. And then slowly, over millions of years, we evolved to a human. Here we have 46. And if we can just get two more, we're going to be a tobacco plant. <laughs> Sometimes I'll get on the elevator and I'll say, man, you're evolving. You're way ahead of me. And of course, dogs and chickens are twins. Everybody knows that. They both have 78 chromosomes. And someday, we might get enough chromosomes to be a carp. <laughs> and it probably won't happen in my lifetime, but maybe we'll evolve far enough. Someday, in star date 349572, we can be a fern. I was in a church one time. This lady came to me afterwards and said, Mr. Hoven, I'm fern. <laughs> I shook hands with that hand right there. I'll never wash it again. <laughs>